destination Angola. to visit Angola. For one, it's home to the promised land. Shh. Angola was part of the old kingdom of Congo. It is blessed with extensive natural resources, fertile land for agriculture. It's rich in oil and diamonds. It has magnificent waterways and is currently the fourth largest economy in Africa. Angola has many breathtaking mountainous regions and some of the best waterfalls in the world. Your first stop will be in the vibrant capital city of Luanda. Located in the north of Angola, it has beautiful beaches and waterfronts, ideal for an evening stroll. Upon arrival, you will be taken to your hotel, located on a quiet street and provides free breakfast. It's fully air-conditioned with room refrigerator flat screen TV and free Wi-Fi. Angola has a population of over 30 million people has a tropical climate with two main seasons, we have a dry season and a wet season. The average temperature is around 24 degrees or 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The national currency is the Angolan Kwanzaa. The local markets are easily accessible and stocked with items ranging from fresh food and vegetables to clothes, electronics, furniture, local arts and crafts. The official language in Angola is Portuguese and there are several native languages spoken including Kikongo, Lingala, Kimbundu and Umbundu. In Luanda, you have a variety of shops, restaurants, supermarkets, local markets where you can buy local and specialty foods, beautiful arts and crafts by local artists. brief stop at the Natural Medicine and Healing Center. Traditional medicine in Angola has evolved as part of a rich cultural heritage with strong historical and spiritual roots passed down orally from generation to generation. Some of the natural wonders of Angola include the Kalandula Falls, which is Africa's second tallest waterfall, the Mayombe Forest, a large protected area, the caves of Nzenzo in Wij, where there are natural springs flowing down from the roofs of the caves. There is also the incredible and deeply mysterious Nzadi River in the north in Makela de Zombo. Fishing is a big export business 
an important source of livelihood for many locals. Public transportation is provided by buses, taxis, or Uber. We will also visit the museums, the famous Tokois church, beaches, and relaxing spas. The Museum of Slave History, which has records and manifests produced as a result of the slave trade. Angolan cuisine has a variety of dishes popular among nationals and foreigners. Staple ingredients in most dishes include beans, rice, cassava, fish, chicken, various sauces and vegetables. A popular dish is fufu, a type of porridge made from cassava. There is also kalulu, which is dried fish cooked with vegetables, okra, and served with rice or fufu. Other staple dishes are mufete, which is grilled fish, plantain, sweet potato, cassava and gari. There's farofa, rice and beans garnished with toasted manioc flour. You have fish stews served with rice and plantain. Kizaka is a popular vegetarian dish made with boiled cassava leaves and served with rice and fufu. Another vegetarian delicacy is the African bush pear. Its creamy, buttery texture is excellent with roasted corn. It's also called atanga, ube, nsafu, or butter fruit. If you're feeling adventurous, you can try katatos, which is caterpillar fried with garlic and served with rice. Now that we've had our lunch, our next stop will be Bula. Bula. We will go by bus from Luanda to the province of Wish. We will visit Makela and Bula. And Bula. Angola shares a common border with the Democratic Republic of Congo in the north, Zambia to the west, and Namibia to the south. This video will not be complete without mentioning Mbanza, Congo in the northwest of Angola, which was the capital of the Congo Kingdom from about 1390 until 1914, when the kingdom was broken up and absorbed into the Portuguese colony. The city of Mbanza, Congo is regarded by most Congo-speaking people as their spiritual capital.
in the evening, the children come out to sing and make music with their improvised instruments. It's a beautiful day in Beulah and the children have their containers in hand to fetch some water.